everyone welcome back to my channel my name is phyllis and here on my channel i share diys home decor goodwill thrift hauls and more and if this is your first time stopping by thank you and please consider subscribing if you like what you see give it a thumbs up and i would love to read your comments and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family in 2019 i purchased five of these glass chandelier shades for a chandelier in my dining room which i've since changed out I used four of them in a decor piece for someone else and I had one left over. So I went on Pinterest to see what I can use it for and thought of a cloche. Here are some inspirations that I found and I love all three of them. And I found it interesting that this one that's coming up didn't have a knob or a top. So I could either use mine without a knob or width, but I decided I would. Now here are the items that I used. Here is a leftover styrofoam with the mirror that was on it. I took it off, now I'm putting it back on. This is an old candle jar. This is that crystal chandelier shade. I had it on this chandelier, uh, which is a DIY. I took all this off and put all the crystals on, but I'm using this last one. This is the top from these miniature sized candles that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And here are some crystal prism, uh, prisms that I had left over and a doorknob. I ended up not using this adhesive on the crystals only on the knob so if you like to see how i put my cloche together and how i use candle jars then just keep watching now let's get started now here i am gluing the mirror onto the styrofoam again it was on there and i took it off now i'm putting it back on and then after sitting there we're going to work with the top to go into the cloche. Again, this is the little candle top. You get these miniature sized candles from the Dollar Tree. The rubber part you put in slanted sideways. You kind of just put it up under and start twisting it until it goes and it pops right in. If you push it straight through, you may crack the hole or the top. And it does hang a little bit, but it doesn't come out. What I didn't show is that I ended up just gluing the rubber top to the top of the glass. And here is where I decided I would not use the mixture of adhesive and the glue stick because when it makes contact with a glass, it doesn't stick permanently. So you'll see where I will go in here and put it on, but then I'll scrape it off and just use the adhesive instead of the glue stick. And then when I put the crystals on, I will use just the glue stick. And here is where I was trying to center it. I decided I would not leave it on there. I just started pulling up or pushing up the glue and here it is, I'm peeling it off. And I decide just to use the fix-all for the crystal knob because I do want it to stay permanent. And then the crystals that I put around it, I'm just gonna use a glue stick. Now coming up is a DIY I did last year. This is a Dollar Tree mirror and I made my own top on top of an old candle jar. That's a little um, tea light candle in the middle and I glued the crystals all around. And this is a candle jar. Um, I'm showing you this because the way that I put the prisms on this candle jar, I'm going to do it the same way on top of the cloche. And when I glue something like this that's going to go in a circle, I like to do the 3, 6, 9, 12 position first and then glue whatever I'm going to glue in between those. That'll kind of help it be, um, look more centered instead of going off where I'm having more space on one side than the other. Again, I like to do the three, six, nine, 12 positions first, and then I glue whatever's going to go in between that. You'll notice that each time I put a prism on, I'm spinning the top. 
Well, I did this before I actually glued the, the put some glue in between the top and the cloche. I didn't pull the top out. I left it in and all I did was lift it up a little bit and I put glue to secure the rubber to the top of the opening of the cylinder jar, if you can understand, if that makes any sense. And I love the way it turned out, so you can use it with or without the candle. Now here I'm going to share with you the two DIYs that I did. This first one coming up, I never did um, share it, I mean did a video. I just did something quick and put it on my Instagram channel. I purchased a candle jar from Dollar General that was already a marble top, so I took an old candle jar, I covered it with the contact paper and took the label off the original one and put it back on the jar after I wrapped it with the marble contact paper. And the jar, marble jar that I purchased from Dollar General was $5. And of course this Walmart contact paper is five something, but you can see here side by side, kind of did a, a small dupe, if you will. <laughs> and I like the way it turned out. So I love keeping all my candle jars because I can reuse them. Now this video of the top that I shared with you, there is an actual video and I will leave the link to that in the description box below. Here is just a short clip of what I shared on my Instagram page on last year. Again, I will leave a link in the description box below. And now, to show you my cloche from the chandelier shade and these donuts are absolutely delicious and it's a perfect setting that I will be putting on my coffee station and I love the way it turned out so I'll let you all watch the rest of the video and clips and pictures and I want to thank you all for stopping by Thank you so much for watching JRC Restoration, Decor and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day everyone. Bye bye.